how's it going everyone welcome back to the foundry channel and today i'm going to be using the lost foam sand casting method to make an aluminum star check it out all right guys so to start this video i'm just going to take a big block of pink housing insulation foam it's high density and i'm just going to start smoothing all the edges out just with an exacto knife this is a really sharp exacto knife and it works well for cutting foam and once that's nice and smooth i'm just going to draw the shape of my star onto it and then cut it out so now that the shape is drawn on i'm just going to use the same exacto knife and start cutting towards the middle and then when I get to the middle I'm just gonna start cutting the star out alright guys I apologize for the crappy lighting in this shot but this is just the basic shape of the star so now that I got the shape cut out, I'm just going to bevel the edges a bit, just to make it a bit more 3D. And here is the finished star. So it definitely doesn't look nice, but it's a good test just for my first uh, lost foam casting. So now I'm going to glue a piece of styrofoam onto the back of it, just to act as a channel for the aluminum to flow down before it gets to the star. This just helps the end casting come out more detailed. Now time to set up the casting mold itself. So I'm going to start by pouring some sand into the bottom of a steel bucket and just fill it up enough so that the star can sit in there without going too high or too low in the bucket. So now I'm going to place the star inside of the bucket and start pouring sand all the way around it, making sure to fill all the gaps so that I get enough detail. And keep doing that all the way till the top. Once the sand's at the top, I'm just going to smooth it out a bit so that I can see the styrofoam and make sure there's a little bit of styrofoam sticking out, just like that. So now that that's all flattened, I'm going to take a steel, little steel can and I'm just going to put it right over top of the foam bit sticking out and this just helps guide the aluminum down into the foam star. Alright guys, so now the foam casting thing is set up. I fired up the foundry and I'm going to take off the lid and see if I have enough aluminum in there. So you can see it's just starting to melt but I think this will be enough so I'm just going to give it a bit more time to liquidize a bit more and we'll pour it. But yeah as you can see it's definitely not liquidy enough to pour yet so it needs more time to be more molded. Alright guys, I've let this sit for a few more minutes and let's check on it now. And yeah, this should be good. Yeah, you can see it's definitely more liquidy now. So I'm going to skim a bit of this leg off and we'll be ready to pour it. Alright, I'm going to take the crucible out, set it down. And start pouring. that worked and I'll let it cool for maybe five minutes and check on it when it is cooled all right guys five minutes later let's see if the lost foam method number one worked and yeah that looks pretty good so yeah you can see it took the detail pretty well the star looks almost perfect all right all that's left to do now is to get the star out of the can which I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it but yeah, I'm, eventually I'll get it out. Alright guys, I got it out of the can finally, and I'm just going to dunk it in some water to cool it down. And that should be good there. And then I can saw the star off of the base thing. 
So I'm just going to use a regular hacksaw to do that. And saw it off. This will probably only take maybe five minutes. But I'll skip forward. And there we go. Alright guys, here's the finished star. You can see it's almost perfect other than a tiny little corner that broke off there. Alright guys, that's it and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you want to see next on the Foundry channel. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.